Metabolism really functions to bring us our energy from the food we eat, and it also helps us become resilient to our life stresses so that we can actually function our entire lifetime with the right amount of energy in our body. That's basically how it works. All right, so no more speculation. You're going to help <laughs> us dispel uh, some of those myths. And today, the myth number one that we want to ask you about, uh, genetics are to blame for our metabolism. Can you break that down mm -hmm. for us? You know, how many times have you heard from somebody that so-and-so was born with a slow metabolism and I was born with a fast metabolism and that's why we have either no problem with our food or we struggle with our weight and our food, right? That's, that's such a common idea. Mm -hmm. It turns out the latest research shows that we are all born with the exact same metabolism. Oh, I don't so want to believe that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's like, you know, it's like an operating system that you would get from a laptop you could bring home from the computer store. You open it up out of the box, you boot it up, and it's going to work exactly the same way. Now, it is true. There are some medical conditions, true, true medical conditions that can actually compromise your metabolism, but that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the uh, assumption that most of us make as we get older. I think we're talking about blaming your parents. Yeah. Let's be honest. <laughs> right? Speaking of getting older, myth number two, our metabolism slows down as we get older. Is there any truth here? Listen, the, there's a mic drop uh, that has been discovered in the last couple of years that shows that human metabolism from the age of 20 to 60 is rock stable. Really? Our hard wiring yeah, yeah. in our body, <laughs> 20, 30, 40, 50, pregnancy, menopause, uh, through the middle age, that our hard wiring is exactly stable. So that means that 60 can be the new 20 if you follow what your metabolism is intended to do. And it also means that we're not being honest with ourselves. <laughs> I mean, because I we're blaming felt like it was a lot easier at 20. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, what, what happens is that during middle middle age, life happens to us. Mm. Uh, and, you know, when you're the first phase of metabolism from zero to one, your metabolism skyrockets. One to 20, your metabolism actually goes down, 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 through right through adolescence. Kids are eating two dinners. They're jumping off the wall. Their metabolism is going, going down to adult level. 20 to 60 is rock stable. But that's when our life happens. Work stress, relationship stress, financial stress, um, uh, menopause. Changes, menopause. <laughs> what happens is that our our brains then start to change, and we can take on behaviors that help us gain body fat. And so it's not that our slow metabolism causes us to gain weight and gain body fat. It's the other way around. It's our family. It's our. <laughs> <laughs> and, and last myth, William. People say like their metabolism. If I just work out more, I can impact my metabolism. When I was getting board certified in obesity medicine, I learned not so much. It's mm. not really about exercise, right? Well, staying physically active is important for just general health, including your metabolism. But the real important aspect is that research is now showing there are foods that you can eat. And this is really the exciting part that we can actually eat specific foods. Researchers figure out specific substances, natural bioactives in foods that can activate and fire up our metabolism. So we actually have the agency to make choices that can make a difference. And we got a little time, but speaking of foods, your favorite food is what apples and you said they can help? You know, an apple a day is supposed to keep the doctor away, right? <laughs> but actually there are bioactives in apples like chlorogenic acid and ursolic acid that can Taylor's fire up your metabolism. Bowl. And uh, what, I, <laughs> what, I, what I love about dried apples is it's kind of a snack, it's kind of sweet. You get your dietary fiber, good for your gut health. There's nothing wrong with snacking moderately on dried apples, one of my favorites. And we took those apples with us. And ate both bags. For two days, I mm -hmm. ate those bags. I ate them in one setting. <laughs> so much for moderation. Yeah, folks, <laughs> and you can hear more on Dr. Lee's new book, Just Eat to Beat Your Diet, Burn Fat, Heal Your Metabolism, and Live Longer. Go out and get it. Yes. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.